Hello, it's Ruby and today I'm sharing my final weekend at home with you. I'm about to go to Oxford to do my master's in English and this is what I did this weekend. Mostly I was writing. I'm doing just the final few edits on my novel, but basically I went through the full manuscript and also my agent's comment, and then I made those small edits. Most of them were quite small, but I did rewrite a few scenes and conversations. And as you can see, I actually printed a current version of my manuscript in book form using DocSoup. It changes the experience of reading it. I find it doesn't quite feel like reading when I'm reading it on Microsoft Word or Google Drive and this is a way to really get the experience of turning the pages and seeing what it feels like to read the book and yes this is so pretentious and kind of ridiculous but I used the Penguin cover generator to make it look like one of the Penguin black classics because you've got to romanticize every moment when you're writing. It's a big task writing a book and so you have to romanticize it and I would definitely recommend doing this because it genuinely made the whole experience really fun and I love how it looks. Look how cute you are! Look how cute you are! Look at her! I'm gonna try and recreate the Blank Street coffee because I had a coffee there and it was really good. So it's a shaken cold brew, so I made some cold brew coffee. Shaking it up in this trusted Costa cup. This is such a bad idea. Oh God. This is it. It's very milky. That's so good. What? That's incredible. Okay, I'm gonna go upstairs and do some more writing. Even though at the bottom, all the sugar and spice has like gone at the bottom. So I think I might have done something wrong with that. I'm going out with my mom for brunch in 15 minutes. That coffee actually took me ages to make. It took me like 15 minutes to make. I don't even know how it took me that long. So um, I've only got 10 minutes left to get some writing done. It's midday and I just got back from brunch with my mum, which was really fun. It's her birthday on Monday and so us two just went over for brunch and caught up and I had the most amazing vegan pancakes. Um, I'm now going to get back to doing some writing. I want to finish that section that I started this morning. It's Saturday today and... It's my final weekend before I leave for university. I leave next Friday, which is really, really bizarre. And I'm not entirely feeling prepared for it. Honestly, I haven't started packing and there are a few prep bits I still want to do, but I'm really excited. But this weekend, one big thing that I need to do is finish up with edits for my book. I kind of had a week to do this next round of edits. My goal is to have the book completely finished and with my agent for when I start. Fingers crossed we can put it on submission. I'm manifesting good things and manifesting a positive response but honestly I am really scared about it because I put a book out on submission um, about a year and a half ago and it got loads of rejections. You have to accept that it's a part of it but it definitely is disheartening. It's so, like I don't have expectations but I'm also trying to stay positive because I know that approaching it negatively won't proactively do anything. But anyway what I was going to say is I've had a fairly hectic week. I've had something on basically every day this week. On Tuesday I went to the coast for a night with my grandma so we were away for just those two days in Chichester but it was beautiful and so great to see the sea. We went on this beautiful rainy walk on the beach which is such a lovely area. I really love the cathedral especially in the cloisters and the gardens. Then on Thursday I was up in London all day. I think I left at 7am and I got back home at 11 p.m. so I was out all day, very tired afterwards. I went to a networking event in the morning with my management 16th which was really fun. Then I went for lunch with um, Kira and China, who are my managers. I went and did some work in a coffee shop. I saw my writing group and then um, in the evening I went to the Booker shortlist announcement which was so, oh my gosh, I genuinely still can't believe that I went. It was such an incredible evening and then the next day it was my childhood best friend's wedding, like my best friend when I was in 
year one, year two. It was so joyful and beautiful and filled with so much love. I showed these flowers very briefly, but they had like flowers at the end and her mum insisted we take some. I put these beautiful flowers now on my side. Basically this weekend, I need to get those edits done. Um, so that's what I've been doing this morning. I've also got some studying. I want to do some university prep and also just some cozy autumnal things because it is my final weekend at home so I really want to spend time with my family too. One thing actually I do want to do in preparation for the new academic year is just review my notion setup and make sure everything's really clean and set up and I really want to do the Skillshare course that Ali Abdel has uploaded because I loved his study tips one it's really really great it's like a massive comprehensive guide on study tips and studying effectively and I haven't done his notion course and I really want to look at it so I'm going to look at that and see if there's anything I can integrate into my own notion setup. Skillshare if you didn't know is an online learning platform um, you can do so many different courses learn so many different things from creative writing to illustration to nature photography and this can be a way to gain new creative skills which could help you in your career. If you want to try using Skillshare, the first 1,000 people to click on the link in the description box can get their first month for free. So definitely click because a month of free learning and free courses is kind of amazing and there are so many different things you can learn about as I say. I'm just a massive advocate for just learning and continuing to learn and Skillshare is a great way to do that. And also I find just browsing through, you find things that you didn't even know you wanted to learn more about, but then as soon as you see it, you're like, I really want to know this and I really want to gain this so um yeah definitely give it a go and thank you again so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video but I'm actually going to go and do that Skillshare course on Notion now oh, hello she's very noisy when she drinks I'm gonna get something to drink actually I don't know what tea I want to go for though all of this is tea I do have a very big tea cupboard and I also need to decide what tea I want to bring to uni I think I might go for this this is the dragonfly tea at Roy Boss Choco Chocolate. Actually, I'm much more in the mood for a black tea, so I'm going to go for the Spiced Pumpkin Pie one from Birdland, which just seems very appropriate considering that we're in proper autumn now. So I've got this really cute glass teapot, uh, which was a gift from my grandparents, actually. I'm just going to pop that in. I love the little um, pumpkin sprinkles in this as well. I'm so scared that the camera is just going to add some milk. I also just looked back on my camera to see the last clip and I realised it didn't record so that's slightly annoying but I just finished up with the section I've been working on that like this morning and I've got two more sections that I'm hoping to complete before around four-ish um, but I've got myself some tea. I went for this beautiful Matilda mug. So I ended up working on my book for basically the whole afternoon until three when we went out for a dog walk because it was my mom's birthday weekend. So we met up with my grandma. I'm really lucky because my grandma lives very close to us, which means that I get to see her a lot. And I really enjoy that because I love my grandma's company. from that walk with my family and my grandma. We were gone for like three and a half hours and it's currently 6.30ish. I'm gonna get curry tonight actually, which is fun. Um, but in the meantime, I'm gonna get back to working on my book. And um, before that though, I'm gonna open this. Um, I just had a little parcel come from awesomebooks.com. I thought, think I ordered this from World of Books, but maybe I didn't. 
I buy too many books. It's actually really bad. Um, this one I'm really excited about. And this one's the best condition, to be honest, but the cover's so beautiful, it doesn't matter. Uh, this is one of the Little Penguin Big Ideas books. I love these. I collect them, actually. And it's some Anatomies of Melancholy. It's just a few extracts from Burton's The Anatomy of Melancholy, which... I did want to read before starting my masters, that was my goal, uh, it's like a mammoth 1000 word book um, and I've read extracts and I do like it and it's such a seminal text in anyone in England but I haven't read it so um, I thought I'd read this um, as a compromise and then maybe try to read it over Christmas instead. <laughs> Good morning and happy Sunday. I feel like I always vlog on Sundays, it's probably my favourite day to vlog. Um, it's currently 8.15, I've been doing some writing. I might go downstairs and refill my tea. When I got upstairs I did some more writing. So in the book that I printed, I'd made all of these annotations whilst I was on trains or in the car over the last few days and I was just typing those up. So I got to the end of the actual book and then it was just a case of going through and resolving any comments on the side because I like to leave little comments on Google Drive of things to come back to. I've made pumpkin coffee today. Uh, there was one scene I just wanted to add in. I realised that this conversation would just add a little pizzazz to this section, so I typed it up and um, I think it was a good addition. And as I think I said in my last video, I've really been preferring handwriting. I can't even quite say why because this is very different to my overall preference and what it's kind of been for the last few years, but I'm in a handwriting phase at the moment, I guess. It's now 10 past 10 and I've just finished up with that final draft so I'm going to just quickly check the formatting of it for the next maybe five minutes and then I'm going to send it straight over to my agent so that it's done. Um, I actually can't believe I managed to get this done today and I'm so glad that I got started on this quite early. Um, it's 10.30, I've just sent that final version to my agent and that's crazy to be able to say. I finished this book, The Colour Sense, last night and I'm just going to quickly write up some notes and also do one piece of critical reading. My kindle comments are always so messy as well, it's literally just quick thoughts as I'm reading so that I remind myself to go back and think about it. So as you can see I was making this fact file for Grant Allen's The Colour Sense, um, going through my very very messy, messy kindle annotations. Um, often I'll just write one or two words of a reminder of something to come back to but I just kind of made it more coherent. And then here I was doing some work on uh, transcription and paleography again so um, I have this Quizlet set where I can test myself on the different letters so I did that and I just got myself to 
write out the letters that I found hardest to identify. I wrote out the letters a couple dozen times each and it just got me more familiar with the shape. Um, this was actually really useful. And then I went downstairs to make a birthday cake for my mum. I made a cherry bakewell cake uh, with these glass cherries, glacé cherries. Um, I never know how to pronounce them, but I really love them and I was snacking on them while I was baking. Embarrassingly, I've left wrapping my mum's presents to the absolute last minute. It's her birthday tomorrow, but we're celebrating today and I thought I had raw brown paper and I don't. And so I'm having to recycle paper. I've got this massive trunk, as you can see. And in this trunk, I've got this kind of organizer for wrapping paper. And I thought I had a roll, but I don't. So instead we're gonna improvise because I do have some scraps of brown paper. So just to show you what I got her. I made her this little pamphlet memory book of our trip to Arran, but I gave that to her when we went for breakfast yesterday. Then to go along with the Scotland theme, I got her this really, really cute Highland cow. Then this is just a tiny thing, but I got her some travel coverage. Again, when we were in Scotland, she was saying she really wanted some. I used my gold foil pen just to customize this little booklet. I bought her this one vintage. She actually chose this. It's a green coat originally from Jackals. I also bought her a new chair. I'm so unorganized. Usually I'm super organized with presents. Like I bought her presents about a month ago and yeah, they're still not wrapped. Then I took the cake out as well and I assembled it. So um, I never do double layer cakes, but I put a layer of jam in between. Genuinely, this cake was so sweet. It didn't have anything to balance how sweet it was. So it definitely needed yogurt or cream or something when we were serving it. And just to add to the sweetness, I added a drizzle of icing sugar on top. Then my mum and I went on a dog walk, which was really nice. I just love to go on a walk every day. And I washed up the cake stuff when I got back. Um, it was so hard to get all of the cake off the cake pan. The cherries had really stuck to it. Upstairs, I did some more transcription practice and I didn't make any mistakes on this one, which I was really thrilled about, but I don't know if that's just because it was an unusually easy one, which it probably was. Then I read this essay on the relationship between the body and writing style in early modern England and kind of how gendered writing styles were. It was looking at the difference between a masculine style and then a so-called more effeminate style, which might also have been used by men, but men of words as they were known. And in this period, men who wrote in this so-called effeminate style were judged as being like lesser men. Um, it's really, really interesting, honestly. I really enjoyed the article. Oh, and I also had a kombucha because I love kombucha. So then I actually did some packing for university. I'd meant to do this earlier in the weekend and I hadn't. As I say, I haven't started packing yet, but I packed all of my clothes this evening. So I went through my wardrobe and took out anything that I might want to bring. I also ended up writing a list on Notion of kind of the outfits I was planning on repeating, um, just to make sure that I brought all of the clothing I wanted. And then we went out for dinner as a family, we went out for pizza and it was honestly so good. But that brings us to the end of this video. Just wanna say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and I hope that you have more than just a productive week. Oh my gosh, and next time that I upload a video, it will probably be me in Oxford, which is kind of crazy. Um, so, I, so I'll see you at university, I suppose.